Happy autumn and welcome to part two, the final part of this week's reading. This week, I'm using tarot and non-tarot cards for clarity. Please drop your favorite emoji or write. Abundance flows into my life effortlessly in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, as that's a great way to help my space here to grow. I want to emphasize that this reading is a reminder to keep doing your protection work. Did anyone else experience a breakthrough, receive apologies, or feel a weight lifted from their shoulders? I know for sure the meditation we have been focused on as we enter the autumn season did a lot for me and those in my tribe. The meditation can be found in the description below. It's a short guided meditation to help release resentments. This meditation will be helpful for those who enjoyed this two-part reading and want to use the first spell work that we have access to as spiritual beings, words, or written words. You can check out that meditation and part one of this reading in the description and comment section below. Now let's begin part two the final part of this week's reading. The next card I pulled is the moon, which invites the exploration of buried feelings. Resentment can often result from unresolved emotions or past hurts. The moon cycles, not just new and full, can be a powerful tool for those who need support in healing wounds, addressing new budding resentments, or letting go of old ones. The moon card is a sign that misunderstandings or false perceptions fuel negative feelings or resentments, holding back your purpose. Doing ritual work with the moon to get rid of illusional resentments, bringing clarity and truth to the situation, will help many who find themselves in a cycle of bitterness and resentment. In a world full of injustice, bitterness and resentment have caused more sickness than ever. I've seen the healthiest athletes and the most beautiful people become ill and shells of themselves due to bitterness. I've also seen those who can release their grievances while still feeling just as deeply the betrayals or hurts and not be the most beautiful or fit. But their ability to release and reuse the energy for their good, for motivation, for more protection work, for more boundaries, makes them the healthiest and happiest. They continue to see flows of abundance, not just in the material and physical aspects, but inwardly. Their joy is where their protection work begins. The clarity card I pulled is the full moon in Aquarius, and it's about being real. Sometimes we can hold on to resentments and pretend we don't. It might be about family, friends, or jobs we deeply resent, but haven't admitted. Or it could be about being around family, friends, and jobs who deeply resent us, but we haven't been honest with ourselves. We might not be doing enough to protect ourselves from ignoring these emotions from others and ourselves and internalizing them. This be real message could be about other things, but it also points to specific dates of this year with the full moon in Aquarius. The last full moon in Aquarius was in August. What was going on for you then? Did you ignore something emotionally that you need to be honest about? Did you try to reconcile with someone? How was the retrograde? All of this is helpful for self-reflection. But generally, this clarity card is for those who believe that holding on to their resentments without addressing them is helpful. Be real. You can resent something, but you need to do something about it, or that energy will use you as a host. We have all been around families, groups, jobs, and more, where resentment is so normal that it has become a pervasive aura. Being real, as the moon card suggests, and looking back at the August full moon and how it went for you will be helpful for some. Being honest about how you really feel about people 
and how you know they really feel about you up until August 2025 may produce a life-changing transformation for someone. The full moon brings our desires to the front. Some of you may be delayed in your full moon workings or new moon intentions the last year because you're not being honest about your resentments or about those near you who resent you. This clarity card is saying that doesn't have to be the case for 2025. Be real and protect yourself. The final card I pulled is the star card. Hope, healing, inspiration, and renewal are the last messages of this reading. The star encourages the process of healing from past wounds and suggests that one can move beyond hurt feelings and find a sense of peace, especially in the context of resentment. This card signifies the possibility of releasing negative emotions and embracing a hopeful future. The star invites clarity and a broader perspective, helping individuals see their situation more clearly. This can allow them to understand the roots of their resentment and how it may be affecting their life. This newfound insight can foster forgiveness and compassion. I have a sense that some have sabotaged friendships, relationships, jobs, and more because of resentments. The star symbolizes guidance and inspiration and can motivate someone to take steps toward personal growth and emotional freedom. Overcoming resentment is not only possible, but can lead to a brighter, more fulfilling life. This card serves as a reminder to stay connected with your higher self and intuition. Doing so can help you navigate feelings of resentment. It's important to understand that holding on to such emotions may hinder your spiritual and emotional development. This can also provide insight into whether someone in your life is contributing to these feelings. If you find yourself frequently on the phone with elders in your family who complain, be mindful. If your family members are holding on to resentment without finding a way to release it, you might need to establish boundaries. The clarity card I pulled is the last quarter moon in Aquarius, which was on May 1st, 2024. The message is to reflect on your priorities. Some people may use resentment as motivation. When they hear someone hating on them, they use that as motivation. However, using resentment as motivation can cause you to lose sight of your priorities or purpose. In my mind, that is the biggest spell someone can put on you. When you resent someone, it may motivate you, but it can also make you lose yourself in trying to prove them wrong. This card may be speaking to those who have used their resentments as motivation, but haven't found much relief. It also acts as a reminder to use your intuition as the star card suggests and move beyond resentment to focus on your priorities. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. Look back at May 2024 and see how you were showing up. Use May 2025 as a goal to focus on your priorities. This card highlights the star card's ability to remind us that true inspiration comes from focusing on your purpose rather than being driven by resentment, maybe even connecting with your inner child who knows their true purpose on earth. The star card is a sign that being blinded by revenge, getbacks, or resentments is gone, and true inspiration is back. You might be the first in your family to have a true pipeline of inspiration, not plagued by resentment, but driven by purpose. You may realize that you have been chosen to address familiar resentments or even ancestral stains that have been passed down through generations. You are the spellbreaker. Breaking the spell simply involves letting go of resentments and using their residue to your true liking, not just proving a point, but your true purpose and priorities in life. I have a feeling that someone will be reversing some resentment spells that have plagued their bloodline. Seeking inner guidance to determine how to move forward, whether that means addressing the source of resentment or finding a path to healing is incredibly important. 
therapy is a great way to unpack these emotions. We are currently a week or so into our 21-day Inner Child Affirmation Challenge, which is centered on its start during this last full moon cycle. To join us, check out the link below in the comments. The Releasing Resentments Guided Meditation, paired with the 21-day Inner Child Affirmation Challenge, can support the work of releasing resentments. Sometimes, the person who needs a space to be heard and release resentments is our inner child. Feel free to also check out part one of this reading as well as the 16-minute full moon reading if you're interested in a longer video and reading. Take care of yourself and thank you for checking out the video.